sometimes your audio will be too short or too quiet to show you any good waveform. So what you wanna do is, if you have a spike like this, you wanna cut that out. What normalizing is going to do is take your loudest point in your audio and push that to the loudest possible volume it can go on your track without distorting or clipping, at least theoretically. It's not really like a compressor where it makes everything scrunch down and be kind of equal, but it's going to take your highest point and increase it to I guess a normalized <laughs> level. But when you do this, you wanna be aware that the quieter your source is here, the worse it's going to sound when you normalize it and kick all those waveforms up because what you're doing is effectively putting a ton of gain into it and you're going to accentuate all the background noise or, or really subtle details in your recording that you aren't gonna hear otherwise and it's gonna it's going to sound a lot worse if you don't just set your gain correctly in the first place. And I know that Vegas and probably every other NLE has a specific point where the peak stops and your volume can't go any higher. Um, but you should be able to change that if you would like. Um, so you can do this if you need some visual waveforms to edit better. Uh, in, with things like live streams and things like that where cutting where there's dialogue is very important you can kind of visually edit that way rather than looking to the video footage you can kind of get a quicker glimpse of things through the waveforms and so this helps with that if your waveforms aren't really big enough to show you where your talking points begin and end